everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. Another story about going back to school. I know, we read them all the time. But going back to school is so exciting and fun and we need to be ready for it. And we've got a friend today who's going back to school, but he's not supposed to be in school because this book is called Turkey Goes to School. Turkey goes to school. This is our old friend Turkey. We've seen him try to sneak into a lot of places. And today, he and the other farm animals are going to try and sneak into school. Farm animals aren't allowed at school. I wonder what happens. I wonder if he gets in. We're going to have to get inside this book and find out. Are you ready to get inside a back to school book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Turkey Goes to School, written by Wendy Silvano, illustrated by Lee Harper. The first day of school was fast approaching. Max and Millie were super excited, and so were the animals on Farmer Jake's farm, especially since the first week's theme was Farm Days. They were certain they would be invited. Stories, counting, singing, painting, said Turkey. It all sounds so fun. I can't wait to go. Uh-oh, the kids are getting ready for school. Turkey thinks he gets to go. Each day, Turkey got his pals to practice their school skills so they'd be ready. They wrote their names, hmm, counted corn kernels, read stories, and even tried out recess games. Wow, the farm animals are doing all the things the kids will be doing at school. But when the big day came, they were booted off the bus. Critters aren't allowed at school, said Millie. You need to stay at the farm. Gobble, gobble, groaned Turkey. We just have to go to school. We can't miss out on all that fun. Well then, said Horse, let's giddy up go. Uh-oh, they all jumped in the farmer's truck. They're trying to get to school. When the animals arrived, teachers were talking. Children were chasing. Parents were taking pictures. It's too bad critters aren't allowed in school, said Sheep. Uh, 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 it's totally hogwash, grunted Pig. Turkey, why don't we team up to sneak you in? And then maybe you can get us in. Goobly good idea, said Turkey. I think I know just what to do. No one will notice an extra backpack in the bunch. Uh-oh, what's Turkey up to? His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a backpack. Almost. Totally foolish, Turkey, said Max. Critters aren't allowed at school. Pack it up and head back to the farm. Gobble, gobble, moaned Turkey. I've got to find a way in. Look at Turkey. He's on the back of Pig pretending to be a backpack. Rooster peeked in the window. They're starting story time. A book disguise must doodly do it, he said. Turkey agreed. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a book. Almost. We'll create a little distraction out here while you book it inside, said Sheep. He's dressed up like a book called Farm Days. He's going to try and get in the school pretending to be a book. Turkey stayed quiet and still during the story. Um, can we read that one next? Asked a girl pointing right at Turkey. The teacher looked. That's no book. T Turkey, I'm a paging the principal. Critters aren't allowed at school. You're bound for the farm. Oh no, the teacher figured it out, and she's kicking him out. Turkey bolted outside. Gobble, gobble, he howled. I need a better disguise. It's almost recess, said Horse. Maybe it's a good chance to blend in with the group. Score, said Turkey. A ball is sure to get in the game. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a soccer ball. Um, almost. I don't think he looks like a soccer ball at all. The kids came running out to the playground. Horse bucked Turkey up into the air 
and Cal headbutted him into the middle of the crowd. Goal! Cool. Jumbo soccer, cried a boy. Uh-oh, they do think he's a soccer ball. Turkey was dizzy and dinged. He teetered and tottered right into Millie. I call a foul, cried Millie. Turkeys aren't allowed at school. Roll on home. Gobble, 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 grumbled Turkey. How am I ever going to get inside? Uh, maybe you could move as the lunch lady in the cafeteria, said Cal. Brilliant, said Turkey. Uh oh, now he's going to try and get into the lunch lady's place. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a lunch lady. Almost. Pig pilfered a cart filled with food. Turkey pushed it right into the serving line and began to parcel out pizza. They're giving out the food to the kids. She's Turkey, hollered the head lunch lady. No one is swallowing this disguise. Critters aren't allowed at school. Out, out, out. Uh-oh, you got caught. Turkey trudged outside. I just don't get it, squawked Rooster. It's farm days. We should be front and center. That's it, cried Turkey. I have the perfect plan. What's he come up with now? The principal poked his head into the classroom. You have a special guest visitor for farm days, she said. Farmer Jake and his animals are going to sing a song with you. Turkey and his pals walked to the front of the classroom. Uh-oh, Turkey's dressed up like Farmer Jake? And then now he brought all the animals in? Turkey sang out. Farmer Jake had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a turkey, E-I-E-I-O. With a gobble gobble here and a gobble gobble there. Here a gobble, there a gobble, everywhere a gobble gobble. Uh-oh, I think it might be working. The children cheered. Can we sing some more? Millie asked. She looked at the teacher hopefully. So did Turkey and his pals. Critters still aren't allowed at school. But I suppose they can be our special farm guests this afternoon. Yay, Turkey's allowed to stay. So Turkey and his pals stayed. And it was a farmtastic first and last day of school. Well, that crazy turkey, he did it. He got into school. He tried so many different disguises. He tried to be a backpack. He tried to be a soccer ball. He tried to be the lunch lady. And none of that worked. They kept finding him and kicking him out. But then he dressed up like Farmer Jake and took all the animals into the school. And they said, well, OK, it's farm day. We'll let them stay. So he got to go to school after all. What a crazy turkey. I tell you, he has the best disguises when he wants to do something. He puts his mind to it, and he gets it done. That's a good thing, even if it's a crazy thing that he wants to do. I really like that turkey, and I like that he got to go to school. And I hope you get to go to school real soon, because you should be as excited as turkey is to get into school. Not tonight. Tonight, it's time to go to bed and get ready to go to school, because maybe school's coming up soon for you. I don't know. You might already be in school, and you might be getting ready ready to go to school. But whatever it is, you should be as excited and happy to go to school as Turkey is. So get a good night's sleep. Get under those covers. Get cuddled up, curled up. Be really rested up because tomorrow may be your first day of school. Whether it is or isn't, be excited to go. Be as excited as a turkey. And when you get there, whatever that teacher says, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe like and share. I'll see you soon.